Good morning. Today we're on uh, Terre de Haut, which is a tiny little island that's absolutely stunning here. And it's part of the group of the island called Les Saints here in Guadeloupe. But first, let's show you how we got here. We made it to uh, Trois Rivières. Uh, we bought our tickets online for the ferry with, uh, do you know the, remember the company? Uh, CTM D Her. D Her. Yeah. Uh, and now we're at uh, the port in Trois Rivières. We just parked along the side of the road, so uh, parking was free. And now just walking down um, to the port itself to jump on the ferry. It's called, uh, all the signs are. Gar uh, Maritime. Maritime. So it's kind of a, a bit of a hard one. To look for if you're yeah. looking for anything specific but that was the signs that uh, guided you all the way to the bottom yeah. so you're supposed to get here 20 minutes early we it's actually pretty straightforward um our boat's right there and i think we're gonna go get a coffee and tea while we wait All right, so we made it onto the boat. Uh, it's pouring rain, but uh, yeah. here the weather changes like every five to ten minutes. So hopefully, the we're sun hoping comes for out yeah. by the time we get there. Hoping for some sun. I guess that's what you get if you uh, travel during rainy season. And a twenty-minute ride over to the island. Okay, so we've made it. Sun's out. It's amazing. We're looking for some uh, for some scooters. Hello. C'est lui qui va conduire. C'est lui. Wait. All right. We just got uh, this bike from Jenny Scooters, and now we're gonna go rip around. We're at Plage des Pompiers, and this looks amazing. Like the. I'm getting a Jurassic Park vibe because there's some mountains in the back and the trees. It looks super cool. It was like a five minutes uh, scooter ride from the port. Super windy here though. But uh, water is very blue. And it uh, looks like an island you could easily walk to, maybe swim to from that back corner there. And there's like maybe 20 people at the most. Do you know what this makes me think of? The Azores, right over there, there's like these beautiful green mountains. All right, made it to the Napoleon Fort. It's open from 9 till 12.30, about uh, not even 10 minutes on the scooter up the hill from the port. Okay, so we made it to um, Plage de Figuier, uh, which is on the top part of the island. It's very windy. Looks like a small cove. Um, oh, this looks like the same beach we were at before. Yeah, it very uh, looks similar to Pompier, but that was further uh, west on the island. 
Yeah, it's just because you see the island there at the back. But that's a different island that you see. Okay. And there's only two people here. Nice. So nice and quiet, a lot smaller. Um, not as nice, but the, the water still looks great. Yeah. And uh, this is the extent of the beach. You can't walk around on either side. No. Because it gets uh, sharp cliffs right off the, right at the ends. Yeah. Off the uh, walking street, off the main part of the town, is L'Eglise, the Notre Dame de l'Assomption, which is like a focal point in the middle of town here. Quick little break before the next stop. Whoa. We've made it to Plage du Pain de Sucre, which is, I think, the nicest beach here. So we're gonna hike down and go see what it looks like. Lots of beaches here on this island. Yeah. Uh, I think the key is um, you come here, and you check out all the different islands, and then probably, or sorry, all the different uh, beaches, and then the find the best one, and then you just yeah, chill on the chill beach. There. A uh, bit of a rocky path, though. Flip flops, not ideal, but it's not very long. And everything's been accessible by scooter. <clears throat> Uh, bikes, you can get lots of e-bikes or uh, golf carts. Oh wow, the water is really blue and uh, tiny little cove. Looks like the snorkeling would be good because everybody's snorkeling. Uh, this was beach, the only one we've been at you couldn't actually park literally at. It's a bit of a hike down. Definitely a little bit busier, a lot smaller, but like gorgeous. Just a little cove. Uh, this is the most amount of people we've seen at a beach while we're here. There's a path that crosses, like I think it's a bit of a peninsula, and there's another beach on the other side, which we're going to go uh, just take the path and see what it's, what it's like over there. I think there's also um, a nautical base, they're calling it, where you can rent some um, paddle boats, sea bob, and kayak. We just crossed uh, on the path from uh, Plage de Pain de Sucre, which is the only way you can get to this beach is through this tiny little random path um, that brings you I forget the name of this beach. It starts with a C. We can throw it up on uh, on the screen after. But there is nobody here. There's no sand right now, unless it's uh, closer. There's a bit of sand, but the beach is, uh, is pretty not very wide. Only uh, only chickens and roosters here. Yeah, we kind of crossed the. the that's farm. the only one. That's the only things that are at this beach. Not the nicest one here, but uh, no. definitely the quietest. An amazing view of the island across the way. Yeah, it's more of the uh, adventure of checking out a new spot. All right, Plage de Croen. Croen? 
Uh, apparently you're not supposed to swim here because the current's too strong, but I'm sure you can swim just along. No, no, it really, I read online, it says no swimming at all. But uh, no one's here. Actually, two people are here, but they're leaving. Yeah. Uh, really nice little spot. A great view of three, four, five other islands. Uh, you can park just at the top of the hill and walk down. Yeah, it was a sketch, uh, sketch way down. Yeah. There's some goats chilling over there as well. Oh, nice. Just some goats chilling on the beach, eating some grass. All right, we're just trying to rip back, but a mandatory stop at a viewpoint here. Uh, amazing view of uh, the town uh, and all the boats and then uh, another one of the islands on this side. Uh, looks like there's a storm coming so we're just trying to beat it back. Wow. That is one massive lobster. All right, so we're just on the uh, pedestrian street here on the island, which is just, it's always pretty busy, full of uh, ice cream places, uh, places to eat, uh, little shops. You name it, you can find it on uh, this part of the street. We're heading back to the ferry to go back to the mainland. So that's going to be it for our video series here on Guadeloupe. But check out our other videos. Um, thanks for watching.